Thanks for staying with us here on News Today. It's now time for the latest in the world of business, and Sandra joins us from home. Hello, Sandra. What do you have in the headlines? Ernest, good afternoon. Um, we are talking about the cocoa syndication. If you remember yesterday, some banks that were supposed to uh, finance cocoa board for the next crop season backed out of the process. But we've been hearing from some analysts uh, who are not too happy with um, the outcome. Bring us the details. All right, welcome to business. Welcome to business. My name is Sandra S. And I'm, and I'm doing this from home. An investment analyst, Mike Kobler, has described the decision by some international banks to ditch cocoa loan syndication as a sabotage. This follows a decision by some international banks that have promised to finance purchases of cocoa beans for the next crop season to back out on the promise, attributing it to the impact of the coronavirus pandemic. But Mike Kobler tells Joy's business has not come with this argument. Uh, my own reckoning is that because uh, Cote d'Ivoire and Ghana came together and said they were going to process a certain quantity, about 50% of the raw bean, before it is shipped out to enhance the kind of revenue and income we make out of it. This is some kind of sabotage coming at the back of that. Um, and I'm, I'm not surprised. That we are being punished our plan, setting of prices, and even producing some locally. Yes, I mean, uh, without a shadow of doubt. I mean, obviously, once we enhance um, the, the raw materials into semi-finished goods, the prices go up, and it is not to the advantage. So there's always been a calculated attempt to ensure that we stay where we are and, and become net exporters of raw materials. Uh, which does not have any value addition. So at the end of the day, we are, we are short changed as a country because then once we export raw materials, we don't get the benefit of the value addition. And sometimes the price differential can be as much as 10, 10, I mean, um, I mean 10 times I mean, what we receive for the raw materials. And, and it, it does not inure to the benefit of the economy. The travel and tour company Adansi Travel Limited has revealed that 46% of Ghanaians want to travel out of the country to various destinations within the next six months, according to the survey conducted by the company to gauge people's eagerness to move beyond the country's borders. 86% out of the over 500 sample size on social media want to travel within the next six to 12 months. Marketing manager of Adansi Travels is Sarah Boatigene. I mean, before uh, COVID-19 um, got into the system, we had planned for a whole year's trip. We had local trips and we had international trips from January through to December 2020. We had had to cancel all of these trips. We also have canceled incoming tours. We had students coming in from Indiana University uh, and they had to cancel. And that was a huge amount of money they were bringing into our economy, about a hundred thousand US dollars, and That's all of that. Quite Apart a from lot. that, it's also our staff. That's quite a lot. Did you have to make some refund? Well, yes, we had to refund the deposit they made for the trip. I mean, they were coming to stay in hotels. They were coming to use uh, rent buses. They were coming to eat in our local restaurant. So it's not just us. A lot of the industry, the hospitality industry, would have benefited from that uh, incoming trip to Ghana. We mm. also, yes, go ahead, please. Yeah, as, as staff, we had to cut down on uh, salaries. There is 19 of us, and we had had to cut up to about 55% of salaries. But in general, most of our clients are waiting to travel when it's safe. Survey we did a few weeks ago. We asked clients how soon they wanted to travel. And the feedback, 46% uh, of them said that within six months, if it is safe, they are ready to travel. 40% said that between six and 12 months, they will travel. 14% of them said that they will travel late 2021. And as I said earlier, over 2,000 of our clients, people that had already traveled with us, also want to travel when it is safe. Um, we are aware that most countries are relaxing the restrictions on the COVID um, lockdowns. Dubai is opening up on the 7th to tourists. They have sent out guidelines on how to keep the tourists safe. And so we are monitoring all this around the world, including in Ghana here when it's safe and the airports are open so that we can bring in people and also send people outside. And that is what inspired us 
to bring out our post-COVID travel. Uh, that's your business this afternoon, but I'm back in just about 15 minutes for the market, please. Over to you, Ernest. Are you eager to travel anytime soon? I want to travel now, but you know I have issues with uh, safety. I'm still not sure that um, I will be safe anywhere I go. And so for now, I'm limiting uh, myself to uh, home and, you know, to the workplace. And in no time, I and shall the travel. The world is changing. Trust the aviation industry to put all the safety protocols A very in good place. survey so by Adanse, putting the issue in real perspective. Thank you, Sandra. Uh, see you later at 1 p.m. for some more business news. You're watching News Today with me, Ernest. We're taking a break. When we return, we'll bring you more stories. Stay with us.